night everybody welcome back to my channel today on my channel we are doing um seven looks in seven days again with one eyeshadow palette and this video we are featuring the violet Voss essentials palette and this is the pro series eyeshadow palette and i received this in my september boxy luxe box and i know that everybody received this video this palette so looking at the palette it's really really cute i mean it's a very fall themed assortment of colors there's a lot of basics in here which are really nice there are one two three four five mattes and one two three four shimmers so i actually was super excited to get into this palette because these colors are just my jam and i thought they were beautiful and i have another violet boss palette from a previous boxy luxe that i love but as I was using this palette, uh, I want to choose my words carefully. I had a lot of mixed feelings about this palette. So definitely I'm going to show you all the looks that I created first, and then I'm going to give you my final thoughts at the end of showing you all the looks. Now, before I get into the looks, there are a few housekeeping items that I want to get out of the way first. This video is in collaboration with a very dear friend of mine, Miss Lena Tamarin, and her uh, YouTube channel is uh, kind of a newer channel just like mine, and she does a lot of ASMR videos, but more importantly and more like that I find to be more interesting, not that her ASMR isn't good, but the things that I enjoy more from her channel are all her original music videos. So she is a, a very gifted vocalist slash music creator, whatever the word terminology that you want to use for that is, and she is... Um, just so talented so she takes all these different levels of music and blends them together to create her own original tracks and then she has her own original lyrics and songs and it's just beautiful so all the music that you were hearing in the background of this video today are from her original track which i will link that below so you can go and actually watch the music video that she created to go along with this she's super multifaceted and that way you can see it so head on over to her channel show her some love and i hope that you enjoy these looks and we will talk soon Oh, 
So now that you have seen all seven looks, um, which one was your favorite? Comment below and let me know because I would love to know what you guys think. I try to create looks that are mostly wearable. I don't want to create things that people can't you know, wear outside the home or feel confident wearing to work, you know, in a professional setting, things like that. But the thing about this palette that, <sighs> let me back up. So I decided to do feature this palette because I feel like when we get our subscription boxes, sometimes we get these palettes in these boxes and it's a color assortment that maybe perhaps we're not quite used to, maybe perhaps it's something that we're not quite sure what to do with or what looks can go together or how to create looks. I mean, I know a lot of people like personally that would have looked at this and said, I'll use all the neutral brown colors and maybe the light pink color, but that's it. Like they wouldn't have touched the golds, the greens, the blacks, you know, or the even maybe the even like the terracotta, the orange. So the point of this video is to show you different looks that you can create using something that was sent to you that you've already paid for. Because I feel like I hear over and over again, I got this palette, I don't know what to do with it. I got this palette, I don't know what to do with it. So that's kind of the, the purpose behind making this video. But I wanted to kind of get into this. So I was super excited in the beginning, like I said in my intro, I was really excited about this particular palette. And I took, well, yep, see, I am awesome at swatching. <laughs> all right, so I took the liberty of swatching all of the shades on my arm. And the first shade that I swatched is cream, then sand, terracotta, gold, emerald, pink, dusty rose, plum berry, cinnamon, and black. Now, they swatch pretty well. They perform pretty well in the eyes going shade by shade shades that I definitely thought were pretty were the dusty rose the pink the cinnamon the terracotta and the sand all very very pretty the black was a good black it did good black eyeliner I did one look where I added some black and made it a little bit more smoky which it worked out really well it wasn't skipping around it wasn't going nuts black is not something I typically use that's a little bit outside my comfort zone so if you saw me struggling doing the Thursday look that's why because it's outside my comfort zone but I did it you know and it can't, it did come out there was a few minutes there where I didn't think it was gonna come out but it did but other shades that kind of left some a little bit of something to be desired were the cream shade and I don't exactly know what it is about this shade because it is a blinding and it is vibrant and it is buttery but I use it and it's almost like it's too much. Like I did it on the lid, I believe for Wednesday's look, and that wasn't my favorite look. I also have did it in the inner corner for Thursday's look, and that wasn't exactly my favorite either. I don't know, I did use it for this look here in the inner corner, but I used a brush instead of my finger, and that diffused it a little bit, and I like it a little bit better, but I feel like it's just something funky about it. I, I can't quite put my finger on it, no pun intended, like why I am, why this shade kind of baffles me a little bit. I don't know. It is so vibrant that it kind of outperforms the rest of them where they are not as, um, they're just not as pigmented and uh, they're as punchy. That's the word I'm looking for. They aren't as punchy as the other shades. It's not that the other shades are bad or that they blend well. I just expected so much more punch out of these swatches. Now, like the few shades like terracotta and cinnamon, I mean, did really well. Dusty Rose performs like I would expect it to. I expected so much more out of this green. Like when you look at it in the pan, in the pan it looks like it's super metallic-y. Even like if you rub a very concentrated swatch, again, it looks really metallic-y. But when you rub it into the arm, it's, it's almost like you gotta build it and build it and build it. And this is already a rub, 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 rub swatch. So I'm not really sure why it's breaking down, like why it doesn't, why doesn't it just, what, what happens? I don't know. And another one, this plum purple looks so purpley in the pan, but then again, when you swatch it, it definitely leans more plum, more brown, which I mean, it is called plum purple, but when you look at it in the pan, it looks like you're going to get a very pretty, a vibrant, purple not a neon purple but a vibrant purple and I love purple for my eyes my hazel eyes because it brings out the green but I really struggle with purples and purples are notoriously like the hardest color to create in an eyeshadow palette but I just feel like they really just didn't 
it's not that it's bad but this one did skip around a little bit more like I'm sure you've noticed watching my videos that I have very loose skin on my eyes like it crinkles I'm barely pushing and look how much crinkling I get so I can really tell the quality of a shadow with how they perform with my crinkly eyes like I am able to buff really good shadows into my eyes with no skipping and no jumping like all my Anastasia shadows even some other shadows that I've reviewed that are drugstore price are good but for whatever reason that purple one was skipping around on my eyes and I didn't use a brush that was different or new. I didn't use products that were different or new. That's the other thing about these videos that I didn't specify in the beginning is that I use the very same products over and over again. Change the foundation, blush, contour, powder. I don't change any of that because I know these are tried and true favorites and I want to show you the true wear without a factor of a miscellaneous product that I'm not really sure how it's gonna perform interfering with that. So it's very, like I, I try to keep it very consistent across the board. But I feel like just some of these colors just weren't all that, you know, amazing. And another thing is when I, as I was going on and filming these, I got to Friday about this look. And then the last two looks, I really struggled. Like, I really struggled with inspiration. That's why they're a little bit lackluster, a little bit boring. I wanted to deliver seven looks, but it just wasn't as easy as it was with my previous, my first episode of this series that I'm filming with my Nomad uh, Berlin palette. So I don't know, what do you think? What are your thoughts? Do you have this, did you get this palette? What do you think of it? Uh, do you find that it's easy to work with? Do you find that you like it? What did you think of Raina's song? Wasn't it beautiful? I just love it. I think it's so upbeat and I just, I love it so much. So I especially wanna thank her again for sharing her music with me today so that I could share it with you, the viewer, and I hope that you will subscribe and stick around for more of these videos. I am actually getting ready to film a, another palette review, the Betty Boop and Ipsy collab palette, which I have not heard great things about. So I'm a little nervous about how it's going to go, but I hope I provided you with some inspiration today. I hope that again, you will subscribe and stick around, comment below, let me know what you think, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <music>